Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, we are starting a brand new game. It's called uh, Inquisitor Inquisitor Martyr. Uh, we just finished our Mountain Blade series, and I was planning to go back uh, to play either Guandu or Age of Wonders uh, Planetfall. But you know what happened was my 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 better half surprised me with a surprise gift. And therefore, so to honor her gift to me, I guess it makes sense for us to play this immediately. Okay, let's go create a character. Wow, this is heavy duty setting. Okay. Uh, so we are given uh, a Psyker, a Crusader. Wow, a Psyker, what does a Psyker do? Okay, choose your background before I should work. Uh, in, in, with a primary, with a primary psyker background, are experts in harnessing the boundless power of the warp. In combat, they rely on their psychic powers, preferring light armor and psychic, psychically attuned weapons. Oh, okay. So very like uh, uh, a ma a mage class then. Uh, Inquisitor with a Crusader background. Oh, look at those cannons coming out of his ba missiles launchers. Are fearsome warriors using heavy armor Ooh, and weaponry on the battlefield. They relentlessly march through fire like the legendary Juggernaut. Oh, I love that Juggernaut uh, of the old Terran myths. They are the slowest of the three agent archetype. Uh, trading mobility for protection and firepower. Ooh, they're the perennial tank then. How about an assassin? An assassin uh, are deadly assassins, experts in hit and run tactics. So these are the rogue class and exotic weapons. In combat, they rely on their acrobatic skills and speed. Tech adept. Uh, inquisitors with the tech adept background are experts of the machine oh they are like engineers Ooh, oh it's a locked we can't use it uh okay so uh mage or caster tank or rogue uh let's try the crusader you know uh we're playing this for the very first time oh there are subclasses to this uh choose your expertise uh sentinel uh so so what do we have? We have a last pistol and an auto gun. So both are range. So tactical means they are range. Takes the fight to the enemy. Will enemy wielding the common but versatile range weapons of the Imperium. They can be used for devastating burst fire and precise aim shots. Like depending on the oh alike, an ancient power armor variant equipped with sophisticated tactical cogitator and teleport beacon system the wielder can summon automated tarantula turrets from uh the what uh from the dropship in or out of uh, huh in in or in orbit oh, okay and wreak terrible havoc upon the enemy also equipped with a stun mine Disperser belt. Wow, that looks very good. With the turrets, with turrets. Choose your expertise. Assault armor. Oh uh, no, a uh, power sword, great sword, and suppression field. The assault crusader is the master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, melee. So this guy is range. This guy is melee. As the master of hand-to-hand, -hand, uh, wielding power sword and suppression shield, or the two-handed. Energy infused great sword, cutting through several enemies at the same time or mitigating incoming damage with shocking efficiency. Power armor equipped with a light but effective jump pack. Oh, the wearer is capable of making long jumps across the battlefield and deal uh, impact damage and, uh, upon arrival. This powerful ability can be used for. Uh, offensive and defensive purposes alike. Also equipped with a ref 
Refract refractor field generator. Wow, this is our melee guy. Wow, look at this guy. Okay, uh, how about the heavy gunner? Oh, I love this with this missile pack, shotgun and last gun. Uh, the heavy gunner starts out with a common imperial armament, unlocking more potent weapons of mass destruction later down the path. The shotgun is an ancient tool for close quarters butchery, while the last gun is versatile rifle for medium range encounters. A heavy armor equipped with an auxiliary missile launcher system. This uh, rare power armor variant was tailored specifically to the need of inquisitorial retinues in need of fire support in desolate, isolated environments. Also equipped with a frag grenade dispenser belt. Whoa, I, they're all wonderful. This has turrets. This has swords, so that means uh, melee weapon. There is so, something very cathartic about assault. And heavy gunner. Whew. But then uh, I think we would be bullet dependent. I don't know. I think we will. Yeah. So this is not bullet dependent at all. So this would be bullet dependent. I don't know if... I, I've never played this game. So we're starting brand new. Anyway, let's do it in Assault. If it doesn't work out, uh, we can uh, go back and uh, and do something else. Story mode is tailored for players uh, who are newcomers to the ARPG or want to focus on the story. We recommend this difficulty as a starting point. You can switch back to challenge mode on the mission briefing window of campaign missions. The challenge mode is... Is what? I cannot read it. Is uh, recommended for experienced players or ARPG veterans. At, at this difficulty, you may take a greater risk for greater rewards. But don't worry, if you crave for a more laid-back experience, you can switch to story mode anytime. Okay, let's go with... With challenging mode, <laughs> I know I'm gonna re I'm gonna re I'm, I'm gonna regret this. Okay, but uh, okay, let's just let's go with that. Okay, uh, what's uh, name your inquisitor? Uh, let's name him. Too cool. Okay. Uh, accept. Triangle. Accept. Uh, all Void Crusaders start with three extra lives. Launching a Crusader takes one less Void Shard. What? Next week, week... I, I don't understand this. Uh, week of the Void. All Void Crusaders start with three extra lives. Launching a Crusade takes one. Okay, uh, I have no idea what those means. Uh, let's go to the options. Uh, English, yes. Uh, map opa opacity. Okay, let's put a 70. Uh, 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 floating text, 100% large. Camera offset, okay. Uh, Okay, uh, how about show skill tags, elaborate executions, dynamic star map, skip, uh, skip loot screen. Should we? Skip the elaborate animation after missions. Uh, character flashlight turns the flashlight effect on the character on. Character point light. Okay, show local co op. Display weapon range. Default mo tactical mode, enemy hit point numbers. Enemy hit point bars, allied hit point bars. 
Uh, hit marker, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, circle for accept. We did create a delete character. Oh, okay. Let's play. So I guess we can start another character then. Wow, I am excited. It is the 41st millennium and there is no... The Imperium of Man is besieged from all sides by the Xenos races and it is slowly... What? Rotting away. In Inquisitors are autonomous powerful agents who wage a great and secret war for mankind. Ooh. They're the judges and the executioners. So that's us. <laughs> Newbie Inquisitor. Inquisitor's log. Classified report. Scheduled for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. The coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave led me to a desolate system. There were many delays during the journey. The intensity of the Caligari warp surges is beyond anything I've experienced. These anomalies are spreading through the subsector like a tidal wave. The distress signal has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Ordos. It is authentic, but extremely old. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery that was likely spat from the warp when the tide of the surges swept through the sector. There is no response to our hailing signals. Wow, that voice is great. <laughs> I wish my voice was like... This is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hole looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty holes. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. Wow, we are like a micro <laughs> in this. Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Evasive action, evasive action. Oh, not a good welcome. I remember the deafening roar of the turrets. My Imperial carrier was trailing a blaze of fire and smoke as it smashed into the hangar deck. I heard a screech and shre of shredding metal, but the vast emptiness, emptiness of the colossal hall swallowed the noise. Somehow, slowly, painfully, I crawled out of the smoldering wreckage. The air was stale, and the mysterious fortress monastery loomed dark and empty. Survivor. I think I think this is the tutorial mode, I think. Okay. I hope. <laughs> wow, our cape is flying. Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Vox communication is jammed and I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log, in case I don't return. Inquisitorial okay. log, new entry. While attempting to darken the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. Okay, so this is the left stick, allows us to come back this way. Oh, we have the mini-map. Ah, uh, okay. What is the right sword? Okay, we're just moving. Okay, uh, the left stick allows us to move the right stick. What's that? Can we interact with objects? I don't know. 
explore the area. Okay, we are exploring the area. Can we hit anything? No, R. I'm trying R1, R2, L1, L2. Uh, I'm, I'm using the buttons. So that was our craft. It's now... I would call that like uh, dere derelict. Ooh. Can we accidentally walk off the edge? No, we cannot. Okay. So, good. That's good. I uh, trying that out at the tutorial phase is actually uh, makes sense for us. What's this? How do we interact? I, I don't see any buttons. Just the left arrow. Ooh. So our equipment is not working yet, right? Or something? I don't know. Uh, new tutorial. Op uh, uh, object activation is the touchpad. What? What? Touchpad? No. X for servitor? Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks. But having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door! Okay, where's our equipment? New tutorial, camera controls, you can change the camera's angle for a battle tactical overview while, while in cover, aim by rotating the camera towards the enemy, or rotate the camera by using the right stick, oh right, and, oh, right stick R, zoom in and out using, oh up and down on R. When trying to escape from a group of enemies, you can also aim by rotating the camera around. Aim by rotating camera towards the enemy. You can change the camera. While in cover, aim by rotating the camera towards the enemy. When trying to escape from a group of enemies, you can also aim by rotating the camera around. Sometimes solid objects could get between the camera and your character. When a solid object gets between the camera and your character, the object is deliberately faded to provide an unobstructed view. So that's the right stick, okay? Pressing X allowed, took that out, so we are not... So what is this? Oh, cogitator. Hmm. An ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information about this place. Analytical enumeration initiated vessel. Uh, name, martyr, code. I don't know. Current status in the possession of the holy orders of the emperor's inquisitors. Inquisition. Uh, last maintenance log. I don't know what data. <laughs> Okay, uh, initiating uh, Psalm. Okay, pressing X. No, circle. Just as to... I suspected. It's a pile of rust. At least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. Where's our weapon? We don't have any weapon. Oh, man. Okay, so the right stick allows us to change the camera angle. That was what they were saying. Up, down is... Zoom in or out. Okay, let's always zoom out for now. Uh, 
What's this? Can we? Wow, I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. New log entry. I have found some human remains. The time of death seems recent. I don't like the look of the marks on the bodies. Something killed them with mindless brutality. Whoa. If it's recent, it's not good, right? That means we're not alone. I don't like this. What is that thing? Oh, that looks like a sword. Okay. Power sword. Yes. The perfect weapon to deliver the Emperor's justice. Okay, so so how do we do this? What? Oh, uh, X. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. So X, we do melee slash with it, right? What is. What is, uh. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, we did not do that. What is this? Creature of chaos. Can you withstand my faith? Whoa! An ancient imperial ship infested by chaos. So be it. Let's Whoa, that area blast is fantastic. What is this? I think is that a defensive shield? That's triangle. What is this? Great sword. What do we have? New tutorial. Uh, switch between your equipped weapons by pressing. You can equip two weapon sets for each mission. Uh, press uh, right on the D-pad to switch between them. Note that switch will set all your weapon skills on cooldown. Some of your attacks will be unavailable for a while. Thus, you will have to judge where the switching weapons in the middle of an engagement is worth it. Okay, uh, okay, continue. So what do we have right now? Uh, oh, we have a power sword. Oh, this is a two-handed weapon. Oh, I see. So they have... What? Oh, Cool. So, ooh. What does that R2 do? Oh, I think it destroys what? It destroys equipment or something? What does Triangle do? I think let's go back to the... Uh, I love this one. This. 
Uh oh. No, 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 no good, no good. Uh, let's switch. We need the triangle here. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go back to our power sword. I think I think the power sword and I think the the red thing that we have on the left lower left hand column, I think the red one is our health, I think. I don't know what the yellow and green is. Uh, <laughs> okay, now we have our power sword and our great sword. Okay, uh, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye!